And the whole point of literature, if there is a point to it, is to so that we feel less alone. I think it's always good for anybody to be able to see themselves in literature. So um, if, if you see somebody, I think we, Adam and I were talking before and, I, and Adam was saying that he misses certain things about being a doctor. And I think what he's done is made himself vulnerable. He said, this was shit. I didn't deal with it well. This is how I went on to do this. This happened to me. It wasn't great. He makes himself vulnerable so that people, other people uh, in a similar situation, maybe not even in medicine, can look and go, God, I feel like that. And the whole point of literature, if there is a point to it, is to so that we feel less alone. And I think when I write and when I write about my childhood and my childhood is one of poverty and difficulty and great joy, it's always good if someone can read it and go, God, I was hungry. I know what that's like. And on, on the question of hunger today, food banks, people, children going to school who are really hungry, you cannot pay attention yeah. at school. When you're hungry, you sit there, you're tired because your body hasn't got the fuel that it needs as a child and you're tired and you can't work well. And so your life chances are diminished, your school chances, what you achieve at school, diminished, diminished, diminished. And so if a, if a child or a parent or someone that's never experienced hunger can read that and go, God, so is there a child in my class that's hungry? And is that how it feels? It's always good as an education, but it's, I think it's much more important that we are vulnerable on the page so that other people can go, that's me, that's helped me, I've, I've been seen and I'm not alone, even if there's no answer. And often there is no answer. You know, you don't write a book thinking, here's the answer to the problem of being no. poverty, you know, here's the answer to racism. You just say, this is it. Yeah. Other people have done it. And I think there's such a comfort, such a comfort in being seen and being heard and to think you're not alone. And even if there's no answers, you've got that. I'm not alone in the world. Thanks for watching that video. If you enjoyed that, we think you'll love these. And if you want to join us for the next live recording of Tortoise Lates, head to tortoisemedia.com forward slash book.